having a rematch that we have not had a that we uh we saw earlier in the bracket that's gonna be uh Sansko versus Air Swimmer. Now on the winner's side of things, this was a 3-1 victory for Sansko, am I correct? Yo. And in that match, it felt like Sansko was just dominating game one, game two. Then Air Swimmer found out something to do game three, and it just didn't work again game four. But it's very curious. We do not have FD for game one. This is the first time we've been seeing PS2 in top eight, I believe. And I think it's telling because before these two were playing a lot on FD. So I wonder if that's maybe it could be that uh, Airsmer has figured something out and now she's uh now 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 the adjustment has been made going for uh PS2 instead. It's definitely somewhat of a reasonable uh, pick, especially since while well, the game you won on, in that winner side set was on FD, it doesn't it didn't seem sustainable. Like, you won because of your ledge trapping, so why not try and pick a stage that allows you to ledge trap better? The side blast zones on PS2 are relatively close to the stage, and you have this all-purpose platform that you can use. That was a risky business, but hey, when it works, it works. And it's been working all night. What does it mean when Zelda's just hitting people with second hit of up? It means you got a real good connection or or a real bad one. <laughs> um, At, speaking of, uh, it, sure. Speaking fine. of it, I guess. <laughs> SD, <laughs> SDs do be like that sometimes. And if there's any way to get your mojo going after a rather, either a rather long break and a long loser set, now is one of them, though Sansko is looking what? like he's not trying to give it in. Did he take 20% that entire stock? Was that SD yeah. just saving up power? Yeah, he needed his Zenkai boost. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, interesting. Going for the uh, the flamethrower right there. I guess he wasn't confident in being able to actually punish, so instead just went for an option that would just completely annihilate uh, their swimmer's shield. That shield is back and healthy, though. And that's something we weren't really seeing. The Zelda neutral beat the combo break. Uh, those, like, falling the Bowser uh, neutral airs. Or the follow-up from them. It's difficult to... Oh, man, you almost died. But it's it's really hard to uh, combo break true combos. And oftentimes, Sansko, his aggression would be one to two hits. And then he would keep close but he would never extend beyond that. Beautiful Hi, Dara. Guy. Thanks for the sub, Dara. Smile. And thus, Air Dang. Swimmer rewards you. Dang, that that DI was so good. DI Bowser uh, side beat can be really tricky because you have to DI in towards the stage because you want to get as far away from the edge of the you know the stage as possible. And then immediately when you hit connect on the ground, you have to recorrect your DI for survival DI. So that's why that's why DI is important, kids. It, that single-handedly let Air Swimmer win this game because otherwise he would have been certainly dead. And the, um Honestly, to go off of that, getting hit by up B2 on the ground and dying off the top may have been another case of like, holding a little bit too far in and your survival DI not being quite on point. But if I'm going to bet anything, we're going to town. Unless it's banned. It might have been banned. <sighs> it's not banned. Oh, no, we're running it right back. One, go. Understandable. Now... That game did, did 58, 63, what? But Please hold away yeah. from Bowser's Flame Breath. Please hold away from Bowser's Flame but Breath. If you hold, but if you hold away, how are you going to get closer to him? Holding away is the coward's way out, is what I'm trying to get at here. Real men eat 60 from Bowser's new Fire Breath immediately when the game starts. I mean, if you're going to do 89 in response, like, sure, why not? <laughs> Just charging up. Oh, okay. And charging yeah, right through. <laughs> yeah, that tough guy being so, so important. Or it, it, it's not necessarily that, it, like, because just a tiny mistake. 
from Air Swimmer becomes so, so much worse because of the fact that, yeah, just take 57, you know, why not? No worries. <laughs> just eat half your stock right now. 79, and can we complete the try? Oh, okay, only three hits, but not dead yet. He's gonna need a, a shield break. Okay, Holy what's he gonna do? Phone. He has, he has, he, at zero, he's gotta do something cool. 57, that is pretty, I'm surprised he didn't go for down air. I know it would've been less damage, but, oh, maybe it would've led to a stock. He might've been too high up, particularly with his double jump, but you know, taking 60 off of a shield break is pretty good, all things considered. Yeah, the, uh, Zelda's one of the few characters that can actually really do that. A lot of characters, if you, if you shield break someone, you're like, yes, and then you see you're at zero, and they, they're like, oh, I guess I get like 20% off of a fully hard smash attack. <laughs> Remember to practice your shield break punishes, kids. That's all that Snake Mage practice. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you practice with Snake Grenade catching? Oh, that's uh, yeah, Sayonara, Gary Swimmer. You, you definitely knew she got up right into that. Oh boy. It's interesting to see how matchups develop. That is certainly how we can see this game, uh, this grand final set, even. Not only with Air oh, Swimmer man. taking the first game. Oh, he jumped. He didn't. That's why that hit. He didn't neutral get up. Either way died for it super died for it so wait hold on a second he jumped right there yeah i'm pretty sure let's take a look no that was neutral get up no wait watch the watch the legs leave the air yeah it's definitely jump wait he jumped yeah, yeah. look right where Whee. right there oh that was ledge jump i see what you're saying <laughs> yeah okay yes. that's so funny yeah looking. it's <laughs> um <laughs> she just lifts it to me <laughs> God, this and the so model stupid. is right on the spike, too. Ooh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> God. <Whee>. Brutal. <laughs> oh, Lord. How do also, we... Oh, go ahead. He was at 68, right? He was yeah. at 68 with that smash attack killed him? Yeah. Oh, just yeah. To... yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm over hey. it, but... Rage. I thought it was worth addressing. That was with Rage. I shrugged. He's an in angry, case. angry turtle. <laughs> I wish people could hear me shrug. Right, smash them. I do it a lot. Audibly shrugs. You just gotta shrug harder. <laughs> if you shrug hard enough, everyone will hear you. Uh, I'm gonna break my shoulder, break my shoulders, tear my shoulders, <laughs> shrugging. <laughs> just, so you just hear like, 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 like tendons ripping. Aggressively oh, yeah. shrugs. <laughs> Every day I break my arm. Every morning I break my arms. And every night I break my legs. <laughs> oh, and that's what Sounds Good is doing right now. We went to Smashville, and honestly, I'm waiting. I was waiting for this counter pick. Ooh. Literally every time we saw Air Swimmer on stream, it's like this is, according to Zelda mains, Zelda's best stage. She dominates the center. She dominates stage thanks to Phantom covering half of it. And there's nowhere to go that Bowser's truly safe. So why? What, maybe this is the first time we're counterpicking it because do you, it, Air Swimmer is afraid of the blast zones. But I, it could be that it was not banned oh, this fair. time around. Because that, that was actually the first game. This wait, was it? Didn't? Mm, am I going crazy? I thought Air Swimmer won game one. He did. Okay, scoreboard needs to be oh. fixed. Oh. Um, so I think that maybe. Wait, so, did he? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure. It's no, 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 no. In Smash, in Smash GG, it is one one. Yeah, because he won. Remember, he survived the Bowser bomb, and then managed okay. to kill with back air at the ledge. All right. But it, it would okay. But that would explain why we're on Smash Bros. Because it, it maybe during set one, uh, it was banned a lot, and but this is the first time we actually had. Um, uh, Air Swimmer counterpicking in Grand Finals, so it's possible that you just forgot to- Oh! Oh, you just got sat out of existence! I mean, that's one way to take a stock at 100. You have infinitely more effective ways to do so, but it's something he's been looking for constantly, and, you know, I get the idea. It really punishes your opponent for waiting on ledge, but- But was that- No, I thought he hit him on the- with the up hit, right? 
Yeah, no, he comboed into oh, it with right, the up right. hit, but it yep. also covers ledge hang because it'll trump you. And then you can do like trump bear. Like, I get it. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Phantom. Excuse me. Your excuse. And so is Sansko, as he's down quite a few stocks of seed. Oh. I get it. I, yeah, I like the idea behind that a lot. And I think he was very brave to go for it. But uh, bravery does not equal <laughs> victory. And uh, just honestly, I think that we're probably going to see a Smashville ban. That I believe Zelda mains when they say that's her best stage. Because who oh boy, did it look like she just... Air Swimmer had control the entire, entire game. So I think that's probably going to be banned. From I mean, here on out. Yeah, I, makes me makes me wonder what he banned prior. If he left Smashville open, maybe he was just testing it. It's like I'll leave it open, see if I can win on this stage, and like see what works. And I don't think that worked. Yeah, we're probably gonna see Town and City now because I feel like that's been a stage that Sansko has been reliably counterpicking to. Yep, that is what we're gonna be seeing. I remember the first time these two played, I believe game four was played on um, Town and City here, and it was, it wasn't necessarily like a huge dominating game, but definitely sounds good. Cool. And I think he's winning right what, now, dead? too. He, oh yeah, he, he dead? died. He's super dead. Ah! Omega's gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bowser kills you. He does not care about blast zones, which is why Town and City is really good, because your opponent does. And if the long, the bigger your corners, the longer his survivability, and he's already the big chonky boy. So, oh, but Air good Swimmer? job. This is something we didn't really see Air Swimmer do in the first set, was hit Bowser once and just keep him in disadvantage for like a minute. 135% and only 23 has been dealt out onto Air Swimmer. And it feels like even now he's still comfortably doing quite well. A little bit of an overextension there, going for the forward smash, but it doesn't seem to matter too much. Bowser at 150. He's gonna yeah. make it back to the ledge. He finally gets back to stage, only to get down here, beat not by up smash. Wow, I did not know that's how those two hitboxes interacted. Neat. I mean, while the turtle shell does have armor, it is still Bowser's body, so. Prominent disjoints will uh, will effectively stuff it out. Has yet again it gets beaten out by Nehru's love, though that one makes a little bit more sense. Sansko losing quite a bit of ground in this uh, in this second stock kerfuffle. Is why did that grab miss? But okay, uh, <laughs> Air Swimmer thanking the game. Gotta watch these double jumps from ledge. Yeah, the double jump air dodge has been something that uh. Okay. Um, Sansko has been going for quite a bit. At one point, Air Swimmer was very reliably punishing it, but it seems like he's been kind of getting away with it. A At times, he's been getting away with going for that particular option. Catching the roll on. Like, Sansko with the lead has been so damaging, and you cannot give Bowser his turn back at this point if you're Air Swimmer. Like... You've been, you had done a really great job in that second stock, dominating center stage, but you gave him his turn back. That's something we had seen earlier on and we had sort of spent some time talking about. Bowser's tough guy makes Zelda's neutral air, which is normally a very good move. Kind of irrelevant at lower percents. I mean, look at that. He's just, he just does not care at all. And you can't stay there either, because it hits ledge. If you if he times it right, it'll catch a jump. If you roll, maybe you don't die, uh, but you um, do get hit by the. Well, back he could have maybe gone for forward air. Uh, forward air probably would have broken tough guy. He could have at least. What if like True. back right. off the ledge and then uh, up beam? This is also an option. I mean, I'm not saying it covers every option, but it covers a <laughs> lot of them. Did did only we hear Alvin, or was that? No, no, no. Was that for Al 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 either? Alvin is here to stay. Okay, all right, okay, that's not my... Hi. That goes on the voices in my head. Hi. 
<laughs> that was Kirby? Anyway, so now we have game five between these two. It definitely was. Oh my god. Devin, never change. Never go back to what you once were. Um, ooh, reflecting the fire. Why are we on Smashville again? I mean, I guess it uh, uh, doesn't. Because it was not banned? Well, I mean, that's the Sonic's option. Sonic's wants to bring it. shame to Airstormer's family. I will beat you on your counter pick. Take me anyway. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, Satan. I mean, Today I wish okay. to play in Zelda on Smashville. <laughs> oh, okay. The coverage, just, Like, why would you want to do that to yourself? <laughs> I'm Satan, but like, what? I, I, I feel guilty. Like, you know, oh man, like, I'm not even, I'm not trying to wish that on everybody. That's for, that's for a special circle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, they, you they do not deserve it. <laughs> Satan. <laughs> oh man, 138%. Okay, finally manages to get a hit in and as, oh. All right, that was a bit of a call out. We don't see, we actually don't see uh, Samsko go for those big, you know, big move call outs so much. You know, he more is about putting like a lot of hitboxes, but he doesn't go for roll reads too hard that often. But right there, that back air killing from across the universe. And just please hold 60, away. Just eat 50. Please, please hold away. Like, please. No, actually, in that situation, I agree with it. Because he, he kept himself close enough that dash attack was able to finish off the job. And yes, he took a lot of damage. And it was a bit of a questionable trade-off. But it got the stock. So. I guess that's what matters most. Particularly with these low percents. Uh, he did have his jump, but... I, I mean... You gotta be start looking for to scout out these double jumps or else Sansko will freely try and land on your shield with Nair and let that combo into whatever he wants. Oh, did he doesn't have a he got his jump taken, but a proper mash on up beat let Sansko recover. Just as how oh, can he get back to ledge? He still <laughs> should have his jump. Doesn't need it. Like he's not able to get off. Even when he gets past, he's not out of the woods. 134, this is growing ever more. The only thing is that Air Swimmer needs to actually close the stock off. Because as we've seen already, he dies really hard against Bowser. Like I think he's doing right now. And that's it. That's the tournament. He, all all Sansko needs to do is just stay alive long enough. And then a second fire breath into Koopa Claw. And yeah, he's gone. There were so many moments there where Air Swimmer, in his thought process, I guess... Was like okay, I can back off and charge Phantom, charge Phantom, because Sansko is at is at death percent. He's he's been losing center stage really really uh, frequently, so I can charge Phantom and he'll have to respect that. And Sansko said, no, I'm not going to respect that. I'm going to jump in your face and back her. I'm going to jump in your face and flame breath, and you're not going. I'm not going to allow you to hold center as comfortably as you want to.